Hello Aston Martin collectors. So we have this uh, Tarmac Works Global 64 XO, IXO models collaboration, I guess, of the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. Or I like to say Superleggera. That's not correct though. Okay, uh, this thing, uh, the, this car came out in 2018 and is sold to, to present day, I guess. And it's quite powerful. It's rated to have 715 horsepower coming out of the 5.2 Rear twin turbocharged V12, and uh, so that much power allows this thing to go zero to sixty in three point four seconds, and supposedly go up to two hundred eleven miles per hour. So that's quite fast. Anything over two hundred miles per hour is pretty crazy because it takes an exponential amount of power to go a little bit faster. You know, the air has so much resistance. Um, it's supposed to also have some sort of innovative aeroblade system, which is a, basically an F1 inspired double decker diffuser. I guess it's supposed to be that. And that's supposed to make 180 uh, kilograms of downforce. I don't have too many of these Tarmac Works hobbies, but I did a review on the Mustang, and this blister didn't fit inside this cardboard box. And you can clearly see, well, I don't know. Let's try. All I know is the. The Mustang GT4, I had to trim the blister significantly to get it to fit inside here. Yeah, so what were these, what are these guys thinking? I mean, this thing is too tall to fit inside of this. It's gonna, it's gonna tear the, board, the box. So why are they making you pay for a box you can't use? This just seems odd to me. It is nice to see that there's a quality control. You know, someone looked at this model and decided it's okay to sell. But we'll see what the dental pick of scrutiny comes up with. Uh, let's take a look at these photos here. Uh, now, unfortunately, it's hard to really focus on two objects, but uh, I don't know. I feel like the headlights are a little rounded on this. It could be an illusion because that light bar is so straight, but the curvature of the the light housing is actually curved, so that might be an optical trick there. Mirrors look okay. The wheels do look somewhat like those wheels there. Let's try the back view. Hmm, okay. I think the back view looks pretty good. Uh, just off initial impressions, but... Hmm. Although here... You see how the undercut is so drastic here? It's it's cutting underneath quite a bit. Here it's very shallow. It's a very shallow undercut there. It's there, but just not as much as on that car there. All right. Well, let's take a look here. This yellow is quite bright. I don't know if it would be considered neon. I think the camera is making it look almost a little green, neon, but I don't really see any green to my own naked eyes here. It just looks like a yellow, and it's a bit metallic, actually. I can see some metallic flake. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So, we got a flush door handle. That's pretty accurate. Panel gaps are okay. You know, the pit can't go in there. Uh, and actually the yellow is doing a pretty good job of hiding the darkness of the cast metal. There's some sort of printing there. What is that? DBS, I assume. Yeah, DBS. And now you can see the little tiny metallic flakes. So it's a really nice, nice uh, paint. Very, very nice. Okay, so here are the wheels, and uh, this is nice. I mean, there's something printed in the center of the wheel. Is it DBS? Is it legible? I would maybe that's like the Aston Martin, uh, you know, the wings. Maybe it's the wing logo. But it's nice to see something, you know. It's it's really well. It, I don't know how else to say it. It's nice. Okay, uh, the tires look pretty good. They're not uh, you know flat slab sided pieces of rubber. And then the, those wheels do look like the wheels on the photograph. And it does. 
it does roll very well. There's no brake system because this is a uh, a blister pack global series. They never have brakes. It's a lower price point. Okay. Uh, also, this is molded in here as part of the casting. Painted black pretty well. Uh, what is going on with the side windows? They're totally black, it looks like. You can see the interior there. But why are the side windows so dark? Let me see if a flashlight will shine through. They're just extremely tinted. Right? You can't you can't see anything. So I'm gonna jump up the lumens. 65 lumens. It's still pretty dark, although a little better. 200 lumens. So you can see it with 200 lumens shining through. But that means it's a pretty bar dark tint. I usually have this thing set at 15. One is too low, but yeah, 15 is my usual setting in these reviews. Okay, well, let's go to the front here, or the top front. These uh, details here are cast in, and they're painted black. And then I guess it says Super Legera there. And then there's the Aston Martin wing there. And then, yeah, the headlights, they do have a little black printing on the lenses. And then you can see that the there's some sort of silver paint indicating you know two headlights back there so I think that's pretty good uh, this texture here is part of the casting painted black although it's not painted really great there look how much extra black is like running there um, here there's more texture and it's painted nicer there in those side vents and a little black here on the chin spoiler and this actually is accurate how the chin how it's black here but color to body color there. That, that's the same as the red photograph I showed earlier. Mm, hopefully that little black dot can get scraped off later. I don't know. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, so yeah. Oh, well this is nice. Yeah, you got some silver paint in the side mirrors there. This side, no issues. Where's the fuel filler door? Okay, there it is. Alright. Trunk. Yeah, so again, the back glass is super tinted. You can't really, it's almost opaque. I mean, you can't see any of the front light coming through. I wonder why they did that. I mean, that's not on the real photographs. Why? Strange. Is it a separate piece of plastic than the windshield? It's a really weird decision. Okay. I'm trying to zoom, well, I'm trying to focus on the taillights there. So, there's some silver printing on the taillights, but I don't think the taillights are a separate piece of plastic or anything. I think that's just some black paint, and then they hit it with silver on top. I might be mistaken, but that's the impression I'm getting. I don't... Yeah, yeah, that's definitely part of the casting. It's not a separate piece of black plastic or anything. The wing here itself is part of the casting, and it's painted black, but it's done well. So I guess that's okay. I mean, it's such a thin, thin tail light. I guess it might have be difficult to have that plastic. Uh, that's hard to say. Other brands do it. Kyosha would do it. Okay, Aston Martin looks good. DBS looks good. And then we got a little red paint there. Probably reflectors. And then the exhaust tips there are molded in. Pretty shallow, but somewhat three-dimensional. And the exhaust tips are pretty much black on the real car so that's that seems accurate all right so it's nice to see that the base is screwed together and um, it does tell you what the car is so that's nice the tire treads look pretty good very crisp tread blocks you know it's a pretty new new mold to not like worn so yeah this is nice you can do wheel swaps pretty easily unfortunately you really would um I don't know if you well I guess you could brighten up the interior I'm sure Aston Martin is coming more than just a dark interior. Okay. And then, yeah, unfortunately I don't really like black wheels, but... I'm not going to paint these because I like the fact that there's something in the middle of them there. Alright. I guess, uh, this time around, it's a good model again. It's just, uh... That, that's the one distracting thing right there, the, how the black overruns there. But I don't see any like scratches or gouges or like uh, casting flaws, so that that's nice. Now I don't understand the packaging. Why I said IXO or IXO models? Do they own the rights to making models for this particular car, 
or did they actually own the molds to make this? Because I've never heard of uh, IXO or IXO making 164 scale cars, but I, I'm not I'm not a veteran to collecting, so please leave a comment if you have any insights on that. Okay, so I think it's time to maybe uh, pull out the solar the coaster thing and uh, prop it up next to a couple other cars. So I have uh, three Kyoshos that I'm going to show off here. Um, this was a successor to the Vanquish, the second generation Vanquish. So this is it by Kyosho. So let's see what happened if it's just a su successor there. Footprint. It does seem to have grown in size a little bit. Assuming these are really accurate models, which we don't really know. Uh, I'm too lazy to pull out the calipers on this. I just have to trust that these brands are making 164. Okay. Well, I can definitely see the resemblance. You know, the, the how it could have evolved from that red car to this yellow car. The grill is just huge, though. Look how big the new grill is. All right. So another one is the uh, V12 Zagato. I just like that this model is just kind of funky looking. It's also got a beautiful paint job, this uh, light blue metallic. Much bigger grill though, so possibly the influence of this car made it into that car as well. And you can kind of see the strake there on the side. You know how it has, this thing has these uh, vents here right coming off the wheel well. It's kind of like there, uh, maybe not. I uh, might be reaching there. All right, well, the last one I'm gonna show is called the 177. And again, this is by Kyosho. Totally different rear ends there, I would say. Giant side vents on the 177. And again, the grill. This time the grill matches up a lot. So, Definitely, definitely an Aston, for sure, this yellow one here, this DBS. If I recall in my research history, I think DBS, DBS means for like David Brown Sport or something. I know David Brown had something to do with Aston Martin, so a lot of cars have DB in them. But please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just kind of guessing there. Alright, well, I know some people kind of like rag on uh, Tarmac. Uh, global because uh, they feel the detail isn't really there. I don't think I paid a lot of money for this to be honest with you so uh, I'm okay with it. I think it's a pretty good model. I don't recall it being like over $20. If it was then it would probably be like where are the brakes. But uh, other than the missing brakes it's got everything else I would I would expect in the model. So uh, I'm good with it. I'll continue to get more if they come out with cool castings. All right, guys. Well, I'm pretty. Sure, I don't know if there's a different colorway of this either. Usually, you know, model brands can put out two different colors. But uh, the only thing, cosmetically, I think I'd rather just have silver wheels or wheels I can see better. So, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you uh, tuning in, and hopefully, you'll see you in the next time I do an Aston Martin review.